YouTube. This is going to be a video on a custom painted Proto 2000 SD60. Uh, YouTube members saw some of the weathering work I've done and uh, DCC installs and lighting installs and he decided to send me his undecorated uh, Proto 2000 SD60 and he wants me to decorate it as an EJ and E uh, diesel uh, J-ball. So it's going to be painted orange and have decals and uh, just be painted. So right now I am working on putting the lights in. I finally fully understand how these little pins here work with the common and the front light and the rear light and all that sort of stuff. So I'm feeling really confident about this project. I think it's going to turn out pretty good. Um, nothing has really started yet. I'm still waiting for my paint in the mail as well as my Microsol, Microset, and a bunch of little brushes. So I'll hopefully get to uh, that sometime soon. This is just kind of the first initial video here. Um, he did paint some of it silver, although it's kind of sticky and it doesn't look real great. I mean, it's okay. I uh, kind of brushed a little off there. I did order some silver paint myself, so I will put that on the bottom here with the airbrush and uh, it'll just look a little bit smoother. I want to make sure this turns out great because this is a pretty big project for me. Um, I did test the locomotive out and it is very smooth. The, uh, it's a lot like my SD45. I'm half considering getting two of these for myself and uh, running them. The only problem is that the rear uh, drive shaft does not work. You can spin the flywheel. That drive shaft does not spin. There's a when you put it under power, you definitely uh, hear something's wrong in there. The front one's fine. So I can get you a view there. There you go. You see it moving in there. So. I don't know how that happened, maybe it came that way, maybe it happened in shipping, but uh, thankfully that's not my part of the project. So, this is what we got here, a bunch of parts. Sorry there YouTube, my uh, camera kind of died, it ran out of space. Anyway, what I'm saying is I got a locomotive, a bunch of parts, a list of stuff to do, the decals, other stuff coming in the mail, so stay tuned and there will be uh, more coming here. Alrighty guys, I got my stuff in the mail here. I got it from modeltrainstuff.com. Um, I found that they have pretty good prices and uh, their shipping to me takes uh, two business days. So even with the standard mail service. So uh, no complaints there. I did get uh, some brushes here and the paint, the silver paint. And I got Seaboard Airline Orange because there was no EJ and E Orange. But um, after some internet research and talking to a few people I found that the uh, Seaboard Orange does seem to match pretty well. So what I will be working on now is finishing up the lights here and um, I guess finding the detail parts, painting them, getting them on, and then eventually I'll put the decals on and uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Alrighty guys, well I got the orange paint on here. Um, as you can see I used this airbrush here there's plenty of paint markings. I got the handrails done. For the most part, I might give it one more coat um, for that. And I got a general first coat on the body of the locomotive here. Um, I guess you can see that. It came out a little bit darker than I had anticipated, but I think that it'll still uh, look pretty good when it's all said and done. Um, I installed a few of the grab irons that uh, the guy that sent it to me missed when he put them on. But I got those on the front and the top there. Just a little bit of glue. I got these grills on here. Let's flip it around here. There's the other side. So I don't know exactly how much I'm doing here yet. Originally I was just going to paint it and add the J-balls on it. But, um... Uh, I think I might be adding a few more decals in that, like uh, little warning kind of things. I don't know what the deal is with the safety striping, the yeah, safety stripes, but uh, we'll go from there. So these are the decals I've got. They are, what are these? These are micro scale decals. And somewhere around here, I think, yeah, right here, I've got, I don't know if you can see it in there, but I've got the uh, micro set and micro saw. So I will eventually get to that. Um, before I do that though, I need to get some flat clear coat and some gloss clear coat. And I'm going to get the, uh, the big containers at Walmart uh, just because 
Well, that's what I'll get around to doing this time. I had some of the dull coat before, and that's what I've used in the past, but I've used all that up, and instead of spending extra on the other stuff, um, I'm going to get just the stuff at Walmart that's uh, pretty cheap. So uh, stay tuned, and there will be more here. Alrighty guys, I'm getting ready to paint the trucks here. Originally I wasn't planning to do this much detail, but I saw the parts in the box and I figured I'd give it a go. So originally he had painted the trucks silver, but they um, didn't look the best. I guess they were brushed on and a lot of the paint was kind of chipping off and also it felt really sticky, which I didn't like. So I went ahead and I glued all of these little detail parts off, the brake cylinders, the sander pipes or whatever and that glue is drying and you can see the new parts because they're black everything else was silver before so I think I've got all the details on the trucks here and when the glue is dry I will airbrush on the silver paint covering these bits here I'm also uh, taping off everything except the fuel tank I'm gonna get the frame painted and then there's a couple little air tanks over here and piping that I will also paint and then I believe all the silver paint will actually be done. So I will go from there. I might, I probably will leave those black. But that's where we are, so stay tuned. Here's a next step I've got done here. I've painted, I've taken the trucks off and I have painted them silver. I got all the detail parts installed. And they are all silver now. As you see there, I also took the uh, frame I got that all painted silver as well. So um, I'm going to wait for this to dry. I'm going to the uh, hobby shop tomorrow and I will get some, uh, or Walmart or whatever, I'm going to get some um, clear coat. And I will go over this a little bit and then I'll probably start putting it back together. Get some detail parts on, do some more paint touch ups, and then I'll get to the decals and uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, well I went out today and I got myself a little drill bit here and vice grip kind of thing. And now I'm able to drill really tiny holes, so finally I'll be able to put detail parts on my own models. And also super detail uh, this project I've got going here. Just now I installed the ditch lights and they are not lit, but I did email the guy and he wanted me to put them on. And once they're painted I'll put the lenses in. I also put the coupler cut lever in there, as you can see. And next I'm going to put the radio antennas and beacon thing on. I will take the light off here before painting it. And then when it's all painted I'll put the beacon back on and go from there. A few more detailed parts i got to install. And then I'll put the uh, big coat of orange paint on and it should all be uh, done with orange. Then I'll go on with the grills and uh, start putting it together. So stay tuned here. Well, I got the detailed parts on and I applied the final coat of orange paint. I think it looks pretty good. I did start painting the grills, but then I decided I'd stop and seal everything, um, all the orange paint that is, and then uh, go on ahead and start painting the grills, put, um, I guess, the decals on, and then eventually get around to painting grills and another final coat of um, clear stuff. I don't know if I'm going to go with a gloss satin or flat finish on this. I'll have to ask the guy. But, um, as hopefully you can see, I did get the uh, ditch lights on there. I haven't put the lenses in. I will. I also got the antennas and beacon. And I talked to the guy, and I don't know if this is prototypically placed, but there were holes in the top of the cab, which is why this one's off to the edge there, and uh, one of the beacons centered. So, I don't know if it's prototypical, but everything turned out the way I wanted it to. Got the sunshades on as well. I'll tell you what, it's so much easier to put those little parts in when you can make your own holes or make the other ones a little bit bigger. So here's the other side here. It's uh, very orange. So I'll go ahead and um, get probably a gloss. I think you use gloss when you put decals on. Not sure, I'll double check into that before I get it. But I will get uh, some clear coat stuff and I'll go over this and then I'll start working with the decals and painting um, grills and other fine details like that. I'm going to take silver paint to some of these little things here and I'll probably paint some of around the front of the ditch light there silver as well. And finally, whenever you, all the paint and everything's sealed, I'll put the windows and lenses in. 
and then it should be done. So that's um, that's where we are here. Stay tuned for more. Alrighty, guys, I'm getting ready to put the decals on here. I um, don't really have any decals for the lower half of the frame, so instead of putting a gloss coat on and then another flat coat, which will just make it look thicker, I went straight ahead and put a flat coat on, and that's kind of drying right now. Um, and then I have the gloss on here. I have it uh, very glossy right where the decals have to go. Um, I wanted to cover everything just to make sure that nothing looks different with the flat on it. Um, and instead of using the testers, I went with a big can of Krylon. I got the clear, and I got the matte finish. So, that is uh, what I got on here. Just waiting for it to all dry. I'm going to test out the decals in my application solution stuff. And then eventually, I'll put it on the locomotive here, and I'll make a video when I get ahead to doing that. But for now, here's where we are. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, well I've got the decals on, a bunch of detail parts, I've got a lot more paint on, um, and now I'm getting <clears throat> to putting the, uh, well, painting the grills dirty here. So, that's where we're at. I had to take the um, little sunshades off because when I was rolling the locomotive on the side they kept getting bent, so eventually I just pulled them out and I'll put them back in eventually. I did have a little issue with the finish on the paint. Um, it's actually not that bad anymore, but when I put the flat over the gloss, it kind of looked a little a little funny, almost like a leathery finish, but I think I got that pretty well taken care of, at least to some extent. Definitely doesn't look bad at this point. Um, so that's where we are. Got the cables on the front here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Got the cables on the front, painted the tips of the ditch lights. I'm just about to put the number board decals on and uh, paint the grills here, and then I'll give it one final spray. I'll put the windows in and the little um, beacon on top, and this thing will be all done. So, stay tuned. Alrighty, YouTube, I've got every part on, got all the details, got all the painting done, got everything all, all done. All the windows, sunshades, wind deflectors, painted grills, silver underframes, electrical stuff done, coupler boxes painted and put together. All that needs to happen now is for this glue here to dry. Um, I have got every single detail part in. Put the MU hoses behind the plow. Um, don't want those to break off. Got the beacon, little number board decals, decals themselves for the Got the silver underframe air tanks, black grills. Turn around here. Same thing. It is a bit shaky, I apologize. There we go. Got the thing in there behind the grill. Whatever it is that that does. And back to here. That's not focusing here. Well, unfortunately it's not focusing, but you get the general idea. I'll have another video up uh, here in a few seconds. I will go over touch-up painting. That needs it right there. really want to know why that's not focusing. Um, so stay tuned, and this thing is pretty much done. Alrighty, YouTube, I've got this thing 100% done. It's all put together here. I'm going to snap a few pictures, take this video, put it in the box, and send it back. But as you can see here, this is the Proto 2000 SD60, uh, originally undecorated, but now it is in the EJNE paint scheme. Um, a little bit of touch-up painting I might look into, but I think it's pretty good. Got the ditch lights on there, the hoses, all those good details that everybody likes. Number boards. I'm flip it around here. Here's the other side. And around the front here. So, there you have it, YouTube. This is my custom-painted Proto 2000 SD60. 
Thank you for watching, and uh, look for more videos in the future. I'll include a before and after um, picture at the end here, so look for that.